Dr. Kekri Lole Yome, advisor for school education and SCRT bra, Naglindi government or private schools can Saturday in the class Nalobo Kohina, announced Kuridiado, Idia process the Asigushi, government bra, official notification order Dibule. Our advisor bra, school education department, Pito de Kiki steps Lobole Koshish Kurase, our challenges can face Kuria Kina Ayase, Edu Opor, or Bill TV Logo, Kota Kura Homo Koshe. I be to lie about the details of a reporter, Adona Lode. Uh, first of all, thank you. Morgan Garo, time there. And last time we live, we have time this year. So, uh, first of all, sir, last time we have a private school, or Libi, government school, Libi, Saturday, the Chuti Hobo Kuena announced Abni Kwatu Kushi will be official notification. Now, I need to Kumba schools here at Dimapurte will be confused. Kaina Alasa, so official notification will be up in Kita Dulasna. Government order all over. It is a clan, no, hey, it is Saturday, Lado announced Kurishi. Uh, the government has to come out with an order, so we are in the process of that. The other thing which we are also working on is the uh, student's health card. The student's health card will be mandatory from next year, both for private students as well as for government uh, uh, students. So here we are talking about uh, so many school children from different parts of Nagaland in every villages. So now they will all have to be uh, engaged. Uh, we have seen cases of malnutrition, uh, especially in villages. Uh, some of the uh, children, we do not know what kind of uh, sickness they have. And many of them, they have not even had a single dose of immunization. So the parent-child card, it has to be translated into an immunization card as soon as they get into the school, you see, they have no access to health. So we have had a convergence department uh, meeting with the uh, Department of uh, Health and Family Welfare. The doctors in, uh, and the nurses will now be engaged to go to every school. Every child will be given personal attention and this will be an uh, annual event. Okay, sir, India school education like Lanoena, overall Nagaland, the Salary question will be pending. Laga yes, so irregularity of salary uh, teachers can laga be kin in the irregular divona parinas. Uh, under government of Nagaland, uh, we have so many teachers, but uh, these salaries are coming from different uh, areas. Like uh, under Samagra, uh, the salary of many teachers are coming from Delhi. So we have that problem. Then uh, salaries which are provided by government of Nagaland, we have no problems. But uh, occasionally you will see that uh, uh, we have issues like uh, salary, teachers are not getting... Uh, it's very uh, shameful, very, very shameful. But uh, as I said, the source of salary, it is what is affecting. And I said, let me be very clear here. There are different categories of teachers. Contract teachers are there. Regular teachers are there. <coughs> regular teachers are there. Contract teachers are there, ad hoc teachers are there, fixed teachers are there, you see. So there are different categories of teachers. Only regular teachers are getting uh, what do we call regular salary. So likewise, if we do not sort out this, you see, we cannot solve this because there is this Uma Devi case, uh, which is a high court, a Supreme Court judgment. Then we have a case where uh, a court has uh, challenged us in the court. So we cannot move forward also, move backward also. So today what we are having difficulty is there are so many of our workers, so many of our employees, so many of our teachers who are, I will, I'm sorry to say this, uh, they're working without dignity. They have no, what we call, guarantee that uh, their jobs will be regularized. There is no certainty to what uh, they are doing. So we have a situation where we cannot go forward, go backward also. So this is the kind of difficulty which we have, but eventually we have to take up all this uh, and hopefully we have to address all this very soon. Okay, sir, Ekta Kota do, Mohan, it especially rural area, Busti area, it will so manually be Niger, Niger, and Busti, the posting Kurule, so manually, it's as a kind to salary in a time that you want to parish will teachers can give you can expect Kumuan and Tahan full dedication, Divo Parvo, it to be Ekta Kota. Teacher fix para thagya kando, na? Takan urban area the thagile jabo koi, u corner corner the halishi gole na jabo koi. But for the regular employee also, some of them they are putting in their resignation. Soon soon we'll have times 
attendance monitoring ka distinct system. So some of them are already put in, in their resignation. Today we need dedicated people, you see. It does not matter whether you are here in Kohima or whether you are in a far-flung area. If you have that dedication. Now as soon as you are posted in a far-flung area, you see, we are creating, a, we are working on a, a system where uh, in previous times we just abandoned them. They retire from where they are posted. Now we are making a system where they have to be, what do we call, uh, like rotational, uh, uh, what do we call, uh, musical chair. They have to be rotated uh, four times. If they do not go for that rotation, so they will be given equal opportunity for their preference also for their place of. So we will, uh, in the 35 carriers uh, which a teacher has, you see, we will divide that, segregate that into four categories and they will have to shift, they have to serve in different, they cannot uh, be serving in their own on a, uh, what we call home district. They have to go to urban area, village area. And when it comes to linguistic based teachers, language based teachers, like primary teachers, language teachers, uh, they are usually based in their district alone. So they cannot move out of their district because you cannot go to, uh, let us say, Wuka and expect to have uh, uh, students teaching them in Ao, you see. So they are called language, linguistic based teachers. They have to be based in their district. So there also we are trying to move, uh, create a system where you don't serve just your own village and retire from your village. You need to get a feel of other villages, even if they're from your community. So there we will have a three tire, uh, what we call rotational system. So once we do this rotational system, uh, we are eventually uh, hopeful that uh, equity will be there to uh, all the teachers. A sense of justice will be there for all the teachers. Right now, those who do not have political influence, you see, uh, they're abandoned. We do not want that anymore. Those who are, what do we call, politically, what do we call, uh, influential, or those who use politics as whatever for their transfer and posting, you see, they're the ones who are actually bringing, what do we call, uh, that cancerous feeling amongst the rest of the, uh, what do we call, uh, teachers, you see. This is the local issue which we are facing here. So last time up, new teachers did they be to Kweche press conference day teachers come to us, especially in math or science teacher. So recruitment process to kinda kurula se kita hola se to uh the recruitment for this uh, we had already uh uh, plan out that we will have a sitting with uh, uh, NSSB which uh, recruits the uh, uh, one batch of uh, but there's no uh, non teaching the teaching uh, the non teaching that is uh, but they have to recruit uh, primary teachers you see so whether what are their capacities what are their mandate in what way they can we are yet to have a discussion with them but uh, for other graduate teachers for other teachers uh, it has to come from this npsc when i say that uh, we are short of teachers you see from today till december 31 2024 502 staffs of Nagalem uh, school education will be retiring. Included here are grade four people, included here are graduate teachers, postgraduate teachers, it's a mix. So what I can say is that every day, every month an average of 30 people are retiring, 30 to 40 people are retiring. Now in a school, once somebody is retiring, we are not replacing them, you see, uh, suddenly they don't have a teacher. So we have no powers, we have no capacity to recruit and now, six months ago we do not know how many teachers we have we do not know how many primary teachers we have we have done a massive exercise now we know exactly how many teachers are there when i can say that uh, right on your face that uh, we have huge shortage of math and science teachers we have 1900 39 schools. We cannot provide uh, undergraduate Hindi teachers or Hindi teachers to all the schools. We cannot provide math and science teachers to all the schools. Very short, very simple, because we simply do not have that figure. Now in most of the schools, the teachers, the head teacher, the teachers themselves are ringing the bell. They come and open the, uh, what we call school, and as soon as the school is over, they close the school. They do the role of the MTS, the Chowkidar, the peon, everything, you see. Whereas within the school department, we have only about uh, 2,432 grade 4. So even if we evenly distribute them also, grade 4 also we are short. So one, what you can see here is we have shortage everywhere. So now we are... Recruitment process to Kitya. Yeah. Uh, so the recruitment process, we are in the process. Uh, we are talking to NPSC, we are talking to NSSB also if they have capacity you see we are in the process because we cannot recruit teachers and keep them like police reserve so they have to quickly serve our needs 
So we are trying to uh, see how this recruitment can take place, whether it can be an annual event like uh, what do we call uh, the NCS. But uh, again, as you say, every month people are retiring. So how to fill up the gap? We are working out the tactical logistics right now. But uh, hopefully we will be able to. And for that, uh, it has to be an open uh, declaration. We have to recruit people. So we will hopefully announce. So we are in the process of addressing how much actually do we need to recruit. That is what we are. By working. next year, can we expect? Yes, 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 definitely. We have to put it up to the government because it involves financial implications. Once we are clear, once we uh, iron out all those issues, we have to. If government wants to be in the education sector, we need to strengthen. We need to provide schools where we have built uh, schools. You see, how can you build schools and not provide schools? You see, a primary unit should have seven teachers minimum. We are not able to provide that. Especially Junaboto our eastern area there. Bisi bak ita infrastructure, school infrastructure bisi biasa. Kini ka apni ka lagat department huli bi revam kuri gina infrastructure ni develop kuri bule revam kuri bule key step loyas. The state government does not have money, so if we do not have what do we call uh, uh, revenue. Uh, we cannot expand uh, on uh, sectoral development uh, funds like uh, this thing. So if you look at uh, school education, it is the second largest in terms of uh, employees. But in terms of expenditure, it is bigger than uh, uh, the home department. We spend more money. You see, we are spending so much that the per capita of our uh, education department is, we are spending more than uh, 1 lakh 50 uh, thousand rupees for a child you see so expensive it is you see it is better to send them to a private uh, school and then close down all government school at this rate so what i'm saying is we get some money from uh, central government uh, in the form of the, the uh, samadra shiksha uh, for school repair now as you can see the affairs of our state uh, the community many community they are building uh, on their own they are contributing on their own they are repairing most of the schools also because their children are there they are giving what we call uh, 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 funds they are giving in terms of their labor so we are getting a lot of this assistance then from central government also but as i said, as I said which is inadequate so if you want to build a big building you see like for example i'm familiar with uh, this wakchin high school it is on the verge of collapse why are we quiet about it? We simply do not have money to build another house. You see, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing because most of the schools were built in the 1960s, especially the high schools uh, in the 70s. And nothing has been done after that. What kind of repairing has taken place? Many of these schools are on the verge of collapse. So if we are to look at all this, I can say I'm very scared. So we are uh, hopeful that uh, we will improve our financial situations also. Uh, we, are, we have opened a CSR cell. We are hopeful that uh, uh, CSR means uh, uh, corporate uh, social responsibility for companies. We are hopeful that their participation will be there. But for communities, our Naga community, who are contributing, that is the uh, community's uh, socio-economic resources which they are contributing. So uh, all these things need to be acknowledged uh, in the form of a village, in the form of a tribe, in the form of families. A lot of individuals, lots of community support is there in uh, what we call strengthening our school uh, especially so we must start acknowledging and we must start appreciating this the school education alone cannot do this so my appeal is uh, it is a common responsibility and we are happy that uh, uh, all these are so forthcoming yes okay, sir last question uh, adult teachers can get regularized i wanted to you cannot take these people for a ride when i said i wanted to you see uh, their issues needs to be resolved uh, it is not just a dog teacher. You see, uh, I am here today at uh, what do we call uh, Government High School United uh, Village, uh, uh, Dimapur. You see, we are celebrating 50 years Golden Jubilee, and the Grade Four staff here. He's uh, in another two, in another three years, the Grade Four staff is going to retire, uh, and uh, he has been on fix for 28 years, 29 years. So not just with a dog teachers, with so many of this uh, uh, of our employees. How can government take these people's lives for a right? If we have no money, just put up your hands and say we cannot do anything. So I am interested. We need to resolve this. We need to resolve this for once and for all. Uh, 
they are looking after their families. They are there in a job with full expectations that one day their job will be regularized. You see, if the government has no plans or has no money or has no capacity to do that, we shall come up. So right now we are doing a lot of uh, uh, strategy uh, uh, analysis, uh, doing data analysis because we are looking at the financial implications. Today we recruit people. What will be the implication after another 35 years? Because a person will retire after 35 years. Uh, the government has to pay that salary for another 35 years. So we are looking at all this logistics uh, at the moment. So uh, immediately uh, my biggest concern is for those ad hoc teachers, those who are on contract, it is indignity. You see, it is huge indignity. Why should they work? Huh? Why should they work in this condition? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It was a advisor for school education, Kekre Yome. Nagalande it was school education laga reform kuribo koigina thai step loigina aha laga bi itia muan thai logo kota koigina muan jani paya se. Kindu yate ekta drastic changes, noi lebi ekta drastic challenges koi thakatu. Ki ki plan banai thagi lebi school infrastructure bi teacher shortage laga kota noi lebi adok teachers kan ke regularize kuribo laga. School infrastructure bia hoi na repair kuribo laga tak bi itia. Advisor bra koi dian is na nagalan laga government laga hatte poisa nai. To poisa nai koi le ki laga kota koi thagi libi. Itu mugan laga financial status koi libi. Mugan itu bill up koi gina. Itya school education department the challenges kima na se. Itu reform koi gina reform koi gina ayu paribu na nai. Itu e ekta itya mugan challenges digi pa se. Koi libi itya koi dian is na advisor bra koi dian is na. Tay laga itu school education department the koi libi paratak. Proxy teachers laga noi libi kiki facilities infrastructure hoi libi paratak takan itu reform kuri gina bilap kuri uli laga koya se itu kobor inika kobor aro muan follow up kuri gina school education hoi libi kini ka hoi le basic facilities kan bi primary bra government higher secondary tak government schools kan kini ka hoi le balo bo itu laga follow up kuri gina abdi gan ke update kuri tagi bo ajini mide mani ase moya dena hai re with camera person Johnson for Hornbill TV Dimapu.